and uh, let's carry on with our question and see what's happening to Peter. So we have calculated how many days they need the car for. Now let's go past, see what the next part of the question says. Well, there, considering the time taken by the car from Newcastle to Port Elizabeth, what is the average speed of the car? So what they're asking us is, we know how long, we've actually calculated how long, they're now asking us to work out his speed. And they give us the formula. And it's really nice for you to always check that you're using the formula. And you don't have to stress about it because they've given you the formula, you know what you need to use. So now let's find the numbers to put into the formula. So the formula says speed is distance over time. Now I've calculated my time in the last question. So let's go back and see where I calculated that time. There was my time. So I know my time was 13 hours and 18 minutes. I've got my time. What I need is the distance. Now I haven't calculated the distance so far. I haven't needed that fact. So let's see what the distance is. Going back to reading, we said that from Bloemfontein, now from Newcastle to Bloemfontein was 506 kilometers. From Bloemfontein to Port Elizabeth was 685 kilometers. So in total, what are we going to do? We're going to add those two values. So let's do that. We're going to say, well, it was 506 kilometers and 685 kilometers. And let's get that on our calculator. Well, we've got 506 plus 685. We've got a total of 1191 kilometers. So that was the distance that they traveled, was 1191 kilometers. Now we're calculating our speed. We want to know the speed that they used. So we're basically going to say our distance divided by, I'm going to leave my kilometers in, divided by 13 hours and 18 minutes. Now what's nice about that button that I just showed you is you can actually use that button to calculate. So I'm going to use my fraction button and to type it in exactly as it is on my notes, 13 hours and 18 minutes. And I get an answer of 89.55 kilometers per hour. So that was the easy way of doing it, is 89,55 kilometers per hour. But if we don't have that button on our calculator, then how do we calculate this kind of calculation? Well, what we do is, we need to take our 13, I need a pen to do this, we need to take our 13 hours and 18 minutes and convert it all to hours. So I basically have 13 hours and I need my 18 minutes to be converted. So 18 minutes to convert it to hours, I would divide by 60. So I'm basically saying 13 and 13 and 18 over 60. So let's do that on the calculator. And let's see, let's get the calculator out. So I'm going to say, well, 18 divided by 60 gives me my number of hours, which is 0 comma 3. And then I'm adding my 13 hours to that. So I actually have 13.3 hours. So I can now write that in here. I've got 13.3 hours. And be careful when you have time, guys. 0.3 does not mean 30 minutes. Well, we've just calculated 0.3 of an hour is actually 18 minutes. So be careful when converting between decimal and time. Now I'm going to go back to my formula and I'm going to substitute into my formula. So I had my distance divided by my time. And if I do that on the calculator, now I've got my time already on the calculator, so all I need to do is type in my distance and divide it by my answer, and I get 
89.44, which is exactly, of 0.55, sorry, which is exactly what I got earlier. It was just a little bit easier for me to do it the other way. It was 89.55 kilometers per hour. Let's just go back and double check the question and check that we have answered the question correctly. And this is another good habit to get into. Double check your questions. Make sure you've answered exactly what they ask you. So considering the time taken by the car from Newcastle to Port Elizabeth, what is the average speed of the car? Well, I have calculated that. I have got my average speed and it is in kilometers per hour. The last part of this question that we're going to answer is, if the car consumes approximately one litre of petrol per 10 kilometres, and if the petrol costs 9 rand 69 per litre, how much will they spend on petrol for a return trip? Now, there's a couple of important things that we need to note here. For a return trip. So, firstly, I want to work out my distance for a return trip. So, I know that they it took them 119 kilometers, that was one way. For a return trip, I'm going to times that by two. So I've got 1191 times by two, and I get an answer of 2382 kilometers. So 2382 kilometers for a return trip. So I've done that part of the question. I know that they use one litre of petrol per 10 kilometres. So I want to take that 2382 kilometres and work out how many litres of petrol do I need. So let's write down what we know. We know that 10 kilometres is one litre. So I'm going to try and work out how many 10 kilometers have I got in 2,382 kilometers. So I'm going to divide that by 10. So I've got 23H2 divided by 10. Don't think I need a calculator for that. I've got 238.2 10 kilometer portions in my travel. So and for each 10 kilometers, I use one liter. So I can say, well, I've got 238.2 liters of petrol are needed for this travel. But that's not what they asked. They wanted to know how much they will spend on petrol. So how much will they spend on petrol? So I'm going to go back to working out my liters and now times that about the cost per litre, which was 9 Rand 69. Times by 9 Rand 69, and that'll give me how much they spend for a return trip. So we've got 238.2 10 kilometre portions in our calculations. For each one of those, we use one litre of petrol. So we're going to times it by our price of petrol. Was it 9,69? That was wonderful when petrol was still 9,69. Okay, 2,308 rand. And we need to round to two decimal places. Why? Because it's money. So 2,308,16. So we're using, need a pen for that. 23 can't remember what that was, 08, comma, 16. Just double checking, comma, 16. Right, and that is money. Right, now, I'm not sure if we have a caller on the line right now. Okay, I got a caller. I think I'm waiting for, Fl for Florence. Florence is coming through. Florence, are you there? I can't stop the question. Right. right, Florence is coming through. I think that um, she has a confusion about converting <laughs> between you. Florence, are you there? Can you hear me? Florence, I can hear you. Yes. Hi, Florence. Tell me what your problem is. Okay, um, I, I have a problem 
Yes. You have a problem? What's the problem? I have a problem with converting meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters. I have a problem of converting meter, meters to centimeters to meters and kilometers. I have that problem. Okay, so... Okay, Florence, what I want you to do is please put the volume of your TV slower and listen, okay. to, listen to me through the phone because it'll be yes. it easier for us to understand you. If I okay. understand correctly, you're saying you're having a problem converting between meters and centimeters, centimeters yes. and kilometers. Okay, so yes. let's, let's see if we can try and work this out. The first thing I want to say to you, Florence, is please, before you start a question where you know you need to convert, Check what yes. the answer, what, what, what they want the answer, what units they want the answer in. And I want you to always get into the habit of basically convert first. Yes. So if your question has got meters but they want the answer in centimeters, then convert to centimeters first. Okay, does that okay. make sense to you? Yes. Right, now I just want to, to, to go through this briefly with you and try and help. Do you have a ruler in front of you? And everybody yes, should indeed. have a ruler. So on yes. your ruler, you can see that we've got centimeters. Yes. And on your ruler, you've got millimeters. Yes. So if I look at one centimeter on the ruler, Florence, how many millimeters is that? Uh, 29, I think. How many millimeters in a centimeter? If you look at your centimeter, you'll see that it is divided into... Oh. It's, it's divided, yes. correct. So yes. we've got 10 millimeters yes. in a centimeter. So okay. already we are on the right track to converting. Yes. Okay, now let's talk yes. about centimeters. So if I look at, well, let's talk about this. If I think about a meter, can you picture yes. a meter? A meter is if you take a big step. Yes. If you take a big step. Now we want to know how many centimeters are in that big step. Okay. How many, yes. how many centimeters in a meter? It's 10. Is it 10 centimeters? Now look at your ruler. Can you see on your ruler that 10 centimeters is about that far? Is that a big yes. step? Yes, I can see that. You can see 10 centimeters. Yes. Florence, does that look like a big step to you? Yes, it does. It does look like it would be a big step. I don't yes. think that this is a big step. I think that 10 centimeters is even less than your size of your shoe. So oh, a, big, wow. a big step is if you stand in one spot and take a big step forward. How many centimeters do you think are in there? In, 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 in meters. In, in centimeters. Meters. So I think that you have 100 centimeters in one big step that you would take. Oh, okay. Okay? Yes. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. Right. And now let's lastly discuss, well, if we've got a kilometer, a kilometer you might need to learn that a kilometer is 1,000 1, meters. Okay, now yes. what I want to do, so far we haven't converted anything. So Florence, if I am going to basically go from a small number, to a big number. How am I going to get a bigger number if I've got a small number to start? Um, I think it's multiply. I'm going to multiply, correct. Yes. And yes. if I go from a big number to a small number, what am I going to do? You're going to divide. I'm going to divide. Okay, so once I've set up this little thing that I've put on the board now, this is going yes. to make it easier for us to convert. So what I want you to do is let's take an example. Let's say convert 165 centimeters into meters. Let's do that example. Okay, and 165? 165 centimeters, and I want to know how many meters is that. Florence, okay. look at this table that I've just drawn. And I want yes. you to find centimeters on one side and meters on the other side. Can you see, let's get another color pen. Can you see that that is in this row? Yes. Can I you can see, see that. that we are there? Okay, yes. so I'm looking at the unit of 100. So what do I need to do? I'm going to take 100. That's yes. what I need to convert. 
But my question is, must I divide or must I multiply? I think it's meters to centimeters. I think you must divide. Okay, from centimeters to meters, perfect. I must divide by 100. Yes. So yes. I see that that is 1,65 meters. Okay. Let's try a little harder one, Florence, before you disappear. Let's try yes. if we convert well. Let's convert two kilometers to centimeters. Yes. Right, let's try that. Now, what two I want kilometers. you to do, I'm going to try and delete this. I'm going to try and delete this carefully. Yes. Okay, and let's go back to green. So I've got these zeros. Okay, I want centimeters on one side and kilometers on the other. So where's my yes. kilometers? Let's go back to here. I've got my kilometers is there. Can you see that? Yes. My centimeters on the other side is over there. Yes. So I'm going to go through basically two steps of this table. Okay, yes. I'm going to be going from this side to that side, which I can see you need to multiply. I'm going from kilometers to centimeters. So I need to yes. multiply. Are you happy with that, yes. Florence? Yes. So how many, how much am I going to multiply by? So I'm going to take my two, and I know I need to multiply. In my first yes. step, how many must I multiply by? I think a thousand. A thousand to get yes. that into meters. Yes, and then, okay. how many do I need to multiply to get it into centimeters? I'm now in the second step. A hundred. A hundred. Okay. So um, I can actually say, well, that is two times, and I can combine these, a hundred thousand. And that oh. is where we'll get 200,000 centimeters in two kilometers. Okay. Are you happy with that? Yes. Should Our we do never, never explain it like this. They okay, never explain it. Yes. Should we try to do one more example? Yes. Okay, let's, let, let, let's go back. We've, let, 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 let's, let's do another example. Okay, so yes. what yes. I'm trying to tell you, Florence, is actually if you can remember this and write this up every time you do a test, we can write that. All you need to remember is 10 hundred-thousand. Okay, that's fairly easy to remember. We're adding a zero every time, and on the other yes. side, I only have ones. Yes. Right, and then from your ruler, remember you had your ruler, you told me that 10 millimeter was one yes. centimeter. Yes. And then remember we took a big step, and we said yes. 100 centimeters was one yes. meter. And then finally, we had a thousand meters was one kilometer. Okay, yes. And when we went from a <coughs> big number to a small number, we divided. Oh, and yes. from a small number to a big number, we multiplied. Yes. <coughs> Let me have a sip of water. Mm. Right. Yes. So if we do all that, let's try now convert. So we're going to take, let's take, um, a, Let's, let's do a different pen. If I've got 2,678, um, let's make that meters. And I want to convert it to millimeters. millimeters. What are we going to do first? We're going to find one, the meter on one side, millimeters on the other side of our table. So yeah. I've got millimeters here and meters here. Happy with that? Yes. I'm going from meters to millimeters, which means I'm going to multiply. You're going to multiply. Right. Yes. Which times? By how many? My first step, how many am I going to multiply by? I think it's 10. My first step is going from meters to centimeters. Remember, I'm starting at meters. So my meters is this step. I'm going okay. to times by 100. And then oh, my second yes. step is times by 10. So in this case, I'm going to say 2678 times by 1,000. Are you happy with that, sweetie? Yes, yes. OK, and we can just add the zero. And that was, don't forget your units. Yes. Um, that was millimeters. OK, I hope that I've been able to help you. 
Yes, I understand now. Okay, just remember to always convert first. Yes, yes, that, that is my point because perimeter and area, they require like converting first. Right, if you have, let's just quickly look at if we have meters squared, it makes it easier to convert first, but let's just look at yes. it. We're going centimeter squared to meter squared. When yes. we convert in this case, what I want you to look at is centimeters to meters, there's a hundred. So there's a mm hundred -hmm. yes. to centimeters in one meter. But yes. remember your meter squared, one meter squared is actually, if I draw it as a box, is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. Yes. So it is not just converting by 100, it's actually converting by 100 squared. Does that make sense? Yes. So one meter squared is equal to 100 squared centimeter squared. So you need to you need to go back to this table and if you're dealing with area then you're going to be multiplying or dividing by the squared unit or if it's volume the cubed unit. Yes, I know that. Okay, are you happy with that? Yes. Right, thanks for phoning in Florence. Thank and you. I hope that I have helped you and for anybody yes. else that's been listening and is trying to convert and has problems with it. Thank um, you very much. I'm running out of time today, so I need you to phone in next time that I'm on the air at 0861058262. It's always nice if we can talk to you so we can sort out your problem. But just before I f end off, I want to say, well, read the question carefully. Um, when dealing with units like Florence was struggling with, convert first, then we don't have a problem with those squared units. Um, so read the question, work clearly so that the examiner actually understands what you were thinking. We as examiners and markers will always manage to find the marks if we understand how you're thinking. I want you to reread the question so that you ensure that you actually have answered exactly what they're asking you. So don't, and, and, and don't just go into it. Okay, right, uh, that's all the time that I've got, so thank you and goodbye.